so this is again a, a short explanation that I'm going to uh, provide uh, to a little uh, help in formulating a research question for decision analysis or cost effectiveness analysis. Uh, this is uh, based on uh, my reading until now and uh, maybe little exposure to the challenges which uh, we are facing in formulating a research question for this kind of uh, uh, research design. Although uh, at several instances uh, it is likely that the given research question can be answered by several different research designs like spanning from retrospective studies to prospective RCT studies including decision analysis and cost effectiveness analysis type of study design. However, in this uh, short explanation uh, what I'm going to uh, try to explain is like a typical decision analysis question emerging from the existing dilemma. Okay, uh, so give me some example. Uh, if we have uh, intervention one, uh, I mean two interventions, say intervention A and intervention B. Okay, and uh, we are not sure as to which intervention we should choose or select or decide uh, based on a uh, couple of variables that I have listed here like uh, recurrence, utility and cost. There can be many other uh, variables. However, for now we just consider this complex scenario. So if you look at this uh, scenario you see that uh, the recurrence rate is 15% with intervention A as opposed to 25% in intervention B. While if you consider utility from the patient perspective, even though the recurrences are high in intervention B, uh, patients are showing high utility value which indicates their preference for intervention B as opposed to A. This itself is contradictory scenario. Yet, clinically doctor might want to go for the intervention uh, which has lower recurrence rate which is intervention A. However, there is third factor which shows the uh, cost of intervention A which is relatively good when we consider recurrence is almost almost not almost but actually twice the cost of intervention B. Uh, this this is really a challenge uh, for a doctor. Challenge in the sense whether he should opt for intervention A ignoring the uh, patient preferences uh, which needs attention because um, one thing that it has higher cost and another if if the utility or patient preference is low for any intervention the compliance or adherence to the instructions given by a doctor would be low and which might influence the outcome or quality of life and so on even at higher cost or he should just go ahead and select clinically intervention uh, or I mean or he should select the intervention B which uh, patients prefer uh, and has also lower cost but again again it is uh, tough at this point uh, uh, when any patient comes and this is a scenario for two intervention and in such cases this uh, forms a question that can be answered uh, using decision analysis or cost effectiveness analysis. In fact, uh, let me uh, share with you some recommendations here which are given in the uh, Petiti 1994 
uh, edition book edition uh, where the criteria recommended for calling an intervention to be cost effective in medical applications are four which are like the intervention about which you are trying to find whether it is cost effective or no it should be less costly and at least as effective or it should be more effective and more costly with the added benefit worth the additional cost or it could be less effective and less costly with the added benefit to the alternative not worth the added cost or it could be cost saving with an equal or better outcomes so when you are doing decision analysis or maybe when you are doing cost effectiveness analysis you can consider these uh, criteria for cost effectiveness approach or a decision analysis as I showed you uh, even when you don't have cost component you have other variables and you are trying to evaluate which which uh, decision you would like to opt for based on several variables yes I mean several variables which have uh, contradictory uh, results from different perspective and so on making it complex you can go for decision analysis uh, research design uh, for formulating a research question hope uh, this uh, helps you to understand the type of research question that can be answered using this uh, decision analysis or cost effectiveness analysis research design methods all the best thank you